Uh, Stuart Varney oh. on Fox uh, Business. Heard from him in a bit. Uh, he has crawled out of his hole to complain that the recall didn't work with uh, Shama Sawant in um, city councilwoman in Seattle, um, socialist uh, city councilwoman. What number of uh, recall is this? This is got. They it. keep trying. She's unkillable. I just also it's sort of like what well, like I, I you know I I didn't quite follow it and I don't know what the premise was. What is the like, premise they keep coming up with? Uh, it's, yeah, they just add stuff like the uh, stuff that's going on with Portland with the cops and stuff like that. It's just nonsense. Can you for, recall for being mean to Microsoft? Yeah, that's or to Amazon, it. like pretty much tempting to tax Amazon too much. Here is uh, Stuart Vani with KTTH Radio Seattle's Jason Rance. <laughs> I wonder if that's a fake name. Now let's move on to Seattle, Washington, where Seattle's socialist city council member, Krishwama Sawant, is up for recall, right in the middle of a recall election, actually. Our Seattle guy is Jason Ranston and joins me now. Is Seattle finally going to get rid of this uh, person who I think is responsible for the ruin of Seattle? <laughs> uh, she is definitely responsible for the ruin of Seattle in large part. Unfortunately, Probably not. So night one, when we got the recall count in, the recall was actually up about 6%. But anyone who lives here and covers the uh, elections here knows they have a tendency, her supporters, to vote the last moment. Just citywide progressives and socialists far to the left, they vote the day of the election, which means they get a huge uptick in support at the last minute. So yesterday, the new numbers came in. She pause it, pause it. I like, first off, you know, it takes a lot to ruin a city when you're one person who's on the city council. Outnumbered by like corporate corporate bot candidates on the city council. She's treating, getting a lot done. She's they're just treating, got her vibe is ruining the city. They're treating Kashama Sawant like she's basically the, the Joker of Seattle, right? right? It's Gotham City, except, yeah. I also like how, um, in this instance, Voting on the day of the election now is somehow now nefarious. Yeah, I was wondering right? about like, that. Like, with the Republicans, is like, oh, all this early voting is really problematic, except for in Seattle, when they, all these progressives and socialists, they come out and vote on the day of election. So, there's that. They don't even mail it in early like a good citizen. We should say that this 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 took place on, uh, on Thursday of last week, and she's won. Mm. Um, so her, she can go on and, and continue to ruin Seattle. But uh, let, let's continue. Apparently, she's watering down all the coffee. That's the big thing. ...and socialists far to the left, they vote the day of the election, which means they get a huge uptick in support at the last minute. So yesterday, the new numbers came in. She's now down by only a little under 300 votes. There's about 1,200 to 1,300 votes left. She's almost certainly going to be able to to, to pick up and uh, take this race over. I hope that doesn't end up happening, but history suggests that's what's going to occur. There's no hope for for Seattle. In, in, look, I, I don't I mean to be extreme, but you know, a socialist, uh, that lady's I'm, I'm losing my tongue here. I'll, I'll move on. Um, I like that. Like, I can't even, I'm so, I'm, oof, I can't believe. It, what's There's amazing, no they also don't put it in context. Is it like, literally, it's the, is it the third or this is the second recall attempt? At least the second. At least the second. Well, I mean, yeah, I, 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 if there is no hope for Seattle, Stuart, then maybe just, you don't need to give it any more coverage or like care if Kasama Sawan, it gets recalled or not, because you could just Seattle's leave it. lost. You leave it to the socialist wolves, allow it to remain like this insulated place where you don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, when does the, uh, when does the rent drop there? After I mean, the... that's one of her, uh, she's uh, for rent control and for tax on Amazon. So you can see which kind of industries would line up for these uh, recalls. Yep. <laughs> I love the the radio host who has to be there like, uh, uh, wait, what? Uh, you say, my uh, city? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the only thing he contributed was that Sawant's voters vote on the same day, which is what Fox News has been conditioning its viewers to say is like the only the, only way we trust. Do, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that classic, but he, 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 it's like he's dripping with like they're so lazy they just vote on election day. Yeah, Varney can't, and Varney can't even con like elaborate 
a criticism. It's like she did. He didn't even mention she she's responsible for the fifteen dollars minimum wage and all sorts of things. But well, of course, you don't want to say these things because they're actually good. Well, because it also <laughs> took place a long and uh, long ago enough in the past that there's no evidence of the horrible effects that uh, they were anticipating were happening. But he, he didn't prepare for the segment. He got his producer's notes that said socialist recall and was like, oh, my God, I'm going to make this an existential segment. Give me Johnny Rance from Seattle. He'll, he'll fill up the three minutes. Who will <laughs> rant on this? But yeah, Johnny Rance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy.